Hi boys and girls, it's Pastor Suzanne in Alaska, and I'm back with three more stories from God's Word, the Bible for us today. And today we're continuing on in the New Testament and we're learning about how Stephen gets stoned. And that's a sad story. He's what we call the first martyr. That means he died because he loved Jesus. So we're gonna learn about Stephen. Then we're gonna learn about Saul meeting Jesus and finally, Peter brings Dorcas to life. If you're ready, let's begin. Stephen is stoned to death. The disciples also called apostles began to teach and preach about Jesus and many people heard them and believed. The apostles even began doing miracles. The Jewish leaders did not like this and tried to stop them. They told the apostles they could not preach about Jesus, but the apostles wouldn't stop. Stephen was a special man who loved Jesus and he preached about Jesus and did great miracles and he helped the poor. To stop him, some Jews took him to court and made up lies about him. They told the high priest that Stephen had said, had said bad things about God's law and when the high priest asked Stephen about these things, Stephen told him and the judges how wicked they had been to kill Jesus. This made them furious. And when Stephen looked up at heaven and said, I see Jesus standing at God's right hand, they dragged him outside of the city and they killed him by throwing stones at him. But even while he was dying, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, forgive them for their sin. After Stephen's death, everyone turned against Jesus' friends and tried to hurt them. Let's see what happens next. Well, there was a religious leader in Jerusalem named Saul who began to hunt down and arrest the Christians. Christian is the name for those who believe that Jesus is the Messiah. And Saul decided to travel to the city of Damascus to arrest the Christians there. As he was traveling, a bright light from heaven suddenly flashed down upon him. And Saul was very frightened and fell to the ground. And then he heard a voice saying, Saul, why are you trying to hurt me? Who are you? Saul asked. The voice answered, I'm Jesus, the one that you're hurting. Then Saul believed in Jesus and was sorry for what he had done. Jesus told him to go on to Damascus. There God would show him what to do. When Saul got up, he found that he couldn't see anything. Those who were with him had to lead him to Damascus. And there God gave Saul his sight again. And he met Christians and began preaching about Jesus. But the Jews there got angry at Saul and planned to kill him. Day and night they watched at the city gates to capture him if he left. The Christians heard about this and so they helped Saul escape at night in a basket lowered from a window in the city wall. Finally, we're going to read about Peter and what happens with somebody named Dorcas. The Apostle Peter was traveling to different cities preaching about Jesus and healing the sick. There was a woman named Dorcas in the city of Joppa who had always been kind and good and helped the poor. But she became sick and then died, so the Christians in the city sent for Peter. And when he came, they sadly showed him the room where she lay, and they showed him all the clothes that Dorcas had made for the poor. Then Peter asked everyone to leave, and after they left, he knelt and he prayed. And then he said to the dead body, Dorcas, get up. And she woke up as though she had just been asleep and sat up, and Peter gave her back to her friends. And there's Dorcas. So, those were some pretty good stories, don't you think? We learned that God still can do amazing miracles like bringing Dorcas back to life. God can still change hearts like he did with Saul who thought he was doing good, but God showed him that he was really hurting Jesus and he changed his heart and he began a new life when that served Jesus and he wrote most of what we call the New Testament, which is pretty good considering he was one of the bad ones at the beginning. And then finally we learned about Stephen, who loved Jesus so much, it didn't matter that they tried to hurt him and they even killed him, he still was gonna love Jesus. He was very brave and had courage because he knew that Jesus was waiting for him. When he died, he would go to be with Jesus forever. So I wanna pray for us right now. Father, I thank you for these words, these stories that you give us in the Bible that encourage our hearts and show us how to live. And Father, I thank you that you showed us that we need to be brave, we need to have courage, and we need to always stand for you. 
and that you can still change hearts of even the meanest person, God. You can still change them completely and turn them into a Christ follower. And Father, you still do miracles. You raised Dorcas from the dead. Father, you can do whatever these kids need. If they need a healing in their bodies, if they need something to eat, if they need a job for mom or dad, whatever it is, God, you still can and will do it. They just have to ask and believe. And so, Father, I ask that you would watch over these kids, that you would keep them safe from harm and danger, that you would keep them close to your heart, and that they would serve you all the days of their life. We love you, Jesus. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed these stories today. Until next time, I'll be back with three more stories from God's Word, the Bible. Be good. God loves you. I do too. This is Pastor Susanna in Alaska saying bye-bye. Bye-bye.